All right, thank you, Andrea. Well, the Columbus Division of Police is looking for some new solutions to curb violence in the city. So far this year, there have been 12 homicides. Sergeant James Fuqua is urging the public to be cooperative and share tips or information that they may have. The last year has been difficult for many reasons, and he believes that could be part of the reason why we're seeing a rise in crime. All of these life stressors have become so severe to the point where people are just at their wits end, just being honest. The, the amount of stress that us as humans are, are facing is extreme and it's going to continue through this year until we figure out a way to get through this pandemic. According to Sergeant Fuqua, the department is holding extensive meetings on this issue. And happening today, Columbus City Council will hold their second town hall discussion about efforts to reimagine public safety. The first meeting was last night. The topic, establishing alternative public safety crisis response. In a handful of cities around the country, specialized teams of mental health professionals and EMTs respond to certain calls, including wellness checks and substance abuse reports, instead of police. The fact of the matter is an eight hour mental health first aid class or the 40 hour CIT class does not adequately equip our officers to intervene in a mental health crisis. Uh, if you need confirmation from anything I'm saying, I just recommend you just ask any officer and they'll confirm that. Today's topic is investing in violence prevention. The virtual town hall starts at 5.30 p.m. Still